Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to perform a negative buckling analysis on ANSYS. So for that, we're going to go into the ANSYS module and we're going to show you, we're going to perform a very simple buckling analysis. So for that, we have uh, this text file that's prepared here. So we're going to define a the material, the element type 181, which is the beam. We're going to de define the material property density of 7850 kilograms per cubic meter, the Young's modulus of 2.1 E11 that belongs to the Pascals that belongs to steel, the Poisson's coefficient of 0 0.3. We're going to define two points at coordinate 0, 0, 0, the first one, and the second point of coordinate 0, 0, 0, 0 0.3. We're going to create a line between those two points. We're going to define the meshing signs between those two points equals to 0 0.01 meters. Then we're going to do apply a restriction. We're going to do it manually after because we still have to define the section. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go to ANSYS, do this. And if we look at the, we do an L plot and we look at the model, we're going to see that in fact we have created the line. So we're missing the sections. So the first section is going to go into the beam common sections. We're going to define a phi 20 diameter, V20, phi 20 would be. So that would be 20 divided by 2000 because this is the radio and we're doing in millimeters. So if you have any questions about that, you can ask. It's, it comes from millimeters and then using diameters uh, instead of radius, radius instead of diameter. So once we have, we, once we get to this point, we can mesh all of this. L mesh comma all, and if we activate the E shape option, we can actually see the section of the beam that we defined. We're gonna take away the E shape, so it's gonna be zero zero. We're gonna replot it, and then we're gonna put a restriction at the bottom, DK comma zero, uh, DK key point one, all, and the value is gonna be zero. And then we're gonna put an F force and F FK, so force on key points, on key point two, on the top one, FZ and minus 100 Newtons. So here we can see the force, so it's been applied. We're gonna perform a static analysis of so solve, solve, and we're gonna have the solution. Once we have done that, we have to go to solution. We can go to solution analysis, type new analysis, and do an eigenbuckling analysis. This, after the version 15, under analysis options, you'll have the number of modes to extract, um, the, 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 extract the, the method to extract, the, me the, the, the extraction method, you'll have more options, the number of modes to extract, we're gonna have one, and you can have mode center or in range. We're gonna leave just mode center, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do another solve and solve. So now if we go to general post-processing, we're gonna have a uh, read results by peak. And what we're gonna have here is a frequency of 450.49. That basically is the multiplier of that force of the 100 Newton force that we would have to multiply or how much, or is it would be the safety coefficient, depending on how do we look at it. Uh, if we multiply this force for this value, we would have buckling and then the buckling is a process that cannot be stopped and it happens all of a sudden. So it's, it's quite uh, dangerous. If you look at the vectorial displacement, this is how this buckling would take place because it's the first move would be like a s half of sinus or like a bending. But for you as a user, it doesn't really matter because it's a process you cannot stop. And if it takes place, it's usually catastrophic. So. Uh, you're interested in not reaching this point. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna go to the model and we're gonna change the force. So we're gonna do, if we can recover this by going down on the menu. So we're gonna change this to 100. So this should have a compression, therefore there should not be any buckling. So we're gonna go to anatomy analysis, static. We're gonna do solo solve. We're gonna solve the static analysis and we're gonna go back and put the Egan buckling again and we're going to do the solve again we're going to go here and look at the by pick and what you will see is if you read the value and you plot it is you will obtain the same factor but it would be with a negative with a minus this 
doesn't make sense to have a negative backlink analysis, uh, backlink coefficient or backlink analysis result. But what this is telling you is, in this case, you have a structure that's being that is being um, um, under certain loads. They're like, like, uh, they're not compressing. They're like pulling the structure. But if for some reason these forces change in direction, you would have this coefficient for backlink. So it can be very uh, useful for when you're analyzing complex structures because a lot of the times the loads that we apply are, uh, are, are repetitive, are periodic loads. So you might be interested in, well, you have this situation, all, and if you have this, let's say you have a coefficient of one, you know that backlink is gonna happen, but because it's, uh, it's not compression, it's elongation, you don't have a problem. Or if you have a periodical load, you are going to have a problem because there's gonna be uh, backlink at some point when the load becomes compressive. So that would be all for today's tutorial. We hope you enjoyed this, uh, this tutorial. And if you do, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your attention.